closet hanging. I'm chilling with Asus here. He is uh, checking me out from behind. Hopefully you could see him. Uh, but he's waking up, getting his morning activity and basking in. Uh, but it's been rather cold here, especially in the reptile room. I've been struggling with uh, sort of the temperature, and I had to leave some lights on overnight sometimes over the last week. So I thought, you know, it might be a, a good time to have a discussion on Aki Monitor Brumation. There's not a lot of information on it. If you do a quick Google search, you'll find very few relevant results, and the results that are relevant are from years ago. Uh, so I wanted to kind of talk about my thoughts on Aki Monitor Brumation, if it exists or not, and what I've heard from other people. Before we do, though, make sure you check that lower right-hand corner, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell as well, and let's get talking about Aki Monitor Brumation. Is it a thing? Before we talk about Aki Monitor specifically, we have to talk about brumation in general. For one, brumation is not very readily understood. There's a lot of question marks about it. Uh, the common consensus on what brumation is, is it's sort of a winter slowdown in regards to lighting, possibly temperatures. Uh, but really, a lot of people don't think it has to do with the weather. Uh, so it's really kind of up in the air what people consider uh, to cause brumation, and it kind of depends on species as well. Uh, I'm sure people who uh, talk about bearded dragon brumation would have some differences in beliefs than people who uh, talk about tegu brumation. So there's a lot up in the air with what brumation exactly is. Does it have to do with the cold? Does it have to do with sort of the amount of light there is and stuff like that? Or is it just an internal clock type of thing? Uh, so there's a lot of question marks about what brumation is. And those things, you know, more readily need to be solved than anything before we can kind of understand certain species that brumate and why they do it. Now, when it comes to Ackies, I think the main debate on whether they brumate or not is what exactly is brumation. When I think of brumation, and this is coming from a tegu owner, uh, I think about my tegu going down for several months, not coming out, not eating, uh, possibly not even needing lights on. That's really what comes to mind when I think about brumation, and that's sort of relevant to hibernation in some sorts. It's not exactly hibernation, but it's pretty close. Um, you know, a, a less uh, advanced example of brumation would be bearded dragons. Now, bearded dragons can brumate sort of like a tegu and kind of go down and not need to eat and stuff like that, but more typically, bearded dragons will just experience a slowdown where they're a little bit more groggy, they don't have as much as an appetite, uh, they're not as active, such like that, but they're not really asleep. I would kind of equate, if you were to talk about, let's say you want to call what Aki monitors do brumation, I would kind of equate that more to what a bearded dragon does when they don't go down but they slow down than what a tegu does where they typically go down for several months. Now, I, I'm not really sure uh, what the, the actual purely defined, I'm not sure there is one uh, of a uh, brumation definition. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so I can't really say, but to me, Aki monitors don't brumate. Um, they kind of just have adverse reactions to kind of colder weather. Um, I wouldn't really say it's brumation. It's nothing long term. It's kind of just in the moment. And we'll talk about exactly what that is. So no, I would say Aki monitors don't brumate. Uh, but it's really arguable on what you think brumation is. Now, there are a few things you could probably expect when sort of the light cycle gets a little bit less if you're doing that in the winter season and if the temperatures get a little bit cooler, especially at night. And one of these things really isn't brumate related. It's just really being a cold-blooded animal or a cold-blooded uh, living thing. Uh, and that's, they get slower when they wake up, they're a little bit cooler, they're not as active initially, that's just typical of something that cannot produce their own heat. They need to heat up, warm up before they start being active. You'll experience that in any cold-blooded thing. So that's very typical, but that's definitely not brumate related, that's just a reptile thing. Um, the only other thing I tend to see around the winter months, and I think it has to do more with the cold, is longer burrowing. Using Aces as an example, because I did cover up some of Dell's burrows looking for eggs, uh, you can see there's a lot of well-formed burrows in here. Here's one right here. I think he covered up one, making that one bigger uh, back there. I don't think you could see it anyway. And there's one over on the other side, which I don't know if we could see. You can see under that hide there, uh, that looks kind of like a rock, there's a little gap, uh, there's a burrow under there. But yes, he's been making really well-formed burrows, which I have to say, I contribute to the lower humidity levels I've been giving them. And that's kind of on a side note here, but I do think I'll do a follow-up video to that. 
uh, talking about the experiments I've done with lower humidity levels and how that's really benefited the husbandry. But anyway, back to brumation. They've been really spending a lot of time in their burrows. During my routinely checks that I do several times a day, uh, I will see if they're out, see what they're doing, see what they're up to. Ace is saying hi. Um, and especially when it's feeding days and I'm trying to get ready to feed them, I'll come in here and look for them. And a lot of the time over the last couple of weeks when it's been the most cold here, uh, they haven't come out too much during the day. They've stayed in their burrows. Um, and I don't really think that's brewmate related. I think that more so it just has to do with response to uh, extreme temperatures. I think maybe it's a little bit more comfortable down there than on top where it might be a little bit colder, especially if the dirt's retaining some of the heat and stuff like that. Um, I'm sure there's some advantages that they prefer being burrowed if up top is a little bit cooler, uh, especially the night before. So I don't think it's exactly brewmate related. I do think that it has to do more with response to, uh, you know, a, a lower than normal temperatures. And that's why I said it, I think it really comes down to what you consider brewmating, what you consider the definition of that is. If the common definition and most people accept brumation not to be related to temperature and more so like an internal clock, maybe lighting and stuff, then this is definitely not brumation because I think this is just a response to temperature. Uh, so it's really up to that. I don't think it's brumation. Um, I, I said that earlier in the video. I think it's just their response to a colder, uh, you know, environment. So that's my thoughts sort of on that. And that's sort of what I experienced. But no, a lot of people ask me, do Aki's brewmate? I do not think they brewmate. Now, the whole reason we're having this discussion is not to really scientifically classify what brumation is or define whether Aki's brewmate or not. It's really because we're concerned about the response to that. There might need to be a change in husbandry, whether or not you consider this brumating or not. Like, for example, a tegu, you don't want them to go down on a full tummy, so you might not want to feed them when they slow down. Do we need to do certain steps like that? So whether you consider this brumation or not, if your husbandry is good, you shouldn't need to change anything. That's the most important takeaway here. Um, because, you know, we want these guys to survive and thrive, and that's really what's most important here. The definitions and stuff can come later. So, no, you shouldn't need to change anything. The most important thing, in my mind, is really two things. One, having enough vertical substrate uh, depth to really accommodate them wanting to burrow for longer times. They do tend to go down deeper the longer they stay down there. So I recommend a minimum of 12 inches. Probably more, maybe a foot and a half, I think would be really good. Uh, the other thing to consider is while this might be a response to lower than normal temperatures, you really can't let it get too low. In this case, uh, for me, what I've been experiencing lately is maybe like lowest 68 Fahrenheit, uh, probably more around 70, 71 though. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so if it gets down too low, there's nothing really they could do about it. That's, you know, on you husbandry wise that you need to take care of that and figure it out because there's only so much they can do to handle this stuff. So those are the only two things I really think you need to consider. But no, overall, whether this is brumation or not in your mind, you shouldn't need to change your husbandry. Well, that about wraps up this video, guys. I thought this would be a good discussion to have since a lot of us are experiencing colder temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere with it being winter. And I've been getting some messages about whether Aki's brewmate or not and whether there needs to be a change in husbandry in response to it. So basically, if you have good husbandry, you shouldn't need to do anything more. You should be fine. And it's pretty obvious that brumation as a topic in itself needs to be explored further and formalized. So I think it's really important we do that and some scientific studies look into that. But who knows what the future holds. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys took something away from this. Uh, like I said, the internet doesn't really have a lot of sources on this, so I did want to give a resource in regards to this, give my opinion. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. I think the common consensus online is they do not brewmate, uh, but there are some people who do think they do, so this is really kind of debatable. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was a good video. Uh, and you took away something from it. But anyway, I should be able to put another video out on Monday. We'll see if that happens. And I think I want to get back to doing the Tuesday live streams. I know I usually do them on Sunday. But uh, I've been getting a lot more people on Tuesday. So expect a Tuesday live stream. And I'm going to try to keep that weekly now that I have a little bit more time. So let's see how that goes. But thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit that bell. I appreciate it. See you guys next time.